Warm welcome to Warm Cooking. Today we are going to make egg leg basic chocolate cake, super spongy cake. We are going to make this cake from the scratch. I am going to give you all the simple simple tricks and tips for making a basic chocolate cake. For making a perfect cake, our first step is measuring ingredients properly. We always do this mistake. That's why I am showing you how to measure ingredient. Our first ingredient for a cake is dry ingredient, maida or plain flour or we can call this as a all purpose flour. For today's cake we need 1 and half cup of maida. For 1 and half cup of maida I took first 1 cup of maida. The biggest tip for measuring any ingredients is don't overfill any cup with any spoon or any spatula just take out the extra maida or flour and make it plain overfill cup with any ingredient makes the quantity more and all the proportion of the cake was gone due to just a wrong quantity of any ingredient now i took one cup of maida same way i'm going to measure half cup of maida now, again i took overfill maida and now making it plain with the help of stick or any spatula you can make it plain now the total quantity of maida is one and half cup after measuring maida our next ingredient is another dry ingredient and important ingredient is cocoa powder use any brand unsweetened cocoa powder for today's cake we need one fourth cup of cocoa powder again uh, we have to fill the cup and make it plain as you can see my cup is overfilled and now with the help of stick i'm making it plain and taking out extra amount of cocoa powder if you like you can add one fourth teaspoon of coffee powder also in chocolate cake but personally i feel we make a cake for kids so i didn't add any coffee powder in my cake for today's cake we need 3 fourth cup of sugar basically if we are making any sponge cake instead of castor sugar we can use condensed milk but for today's cake i am using castor sugar for measuring 3 fourth cup of castor sugar i took half cup and 1 fourth cup of sugar to make it 3 fourth cup don't forget to make it plain and measure exact quantity of sugar. A half cup of sugar and one fourth cup of sugar together becomes three fourth cup of sugar. Sugar gives sweetness to the cake. Don't use any kind of jaggery or other sweetness for making cake. After measuring sugar, our next ingredients are important ingredient baking powder and baking soda. Always use fresh baking powder and fresh soda. I am measuring half teaspoon of baking powder. Quantity of baking powder and baking soda differs according to different different cakes. Now we need to measure baking soda. For today's cake, I am using one teaspoon of baking soda. I always prefer fresh baking soda and baking powder that makes the cake more spongy. All our dry ingredients are now measured. Now we need to measure all wet ingredients. Our first ingredient is milk. Instead of milk, you can use half amount of water and half amount of milk or you can use full amount of water. For today's cake, I am using one cup of milk. Now next, our important ingredient is butter. Always keep butter out of the fridge before 2 hours for making any cake. Butter must be on room temperature. Instead of butter, you can use oil. For making chocolate cake butter, I am using 1 third cup of butter. Instead of butter, I prefer sunflower oil substitute for butter. You can see with the help of spoon, I make butter plain and then only I took one third cup of butter. After measuring exact quantity of butter, our next ingredient is vanilla essence. Vanilla essence enhances the taste of chocolate cake. I measure one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Now the next important ingredient for making perfect spongy cake is vinegar or lemon juice. I am using one tablespoon of vinegar. Vinegar makes cake more spongy and more fluffy once you measure all our dry and wet ingredients keep them aside now our next and important task for making a perfect cake is 
choosing a perfect size pan for cake. For today's cake, I am using 6 inch cake tin. Always line your cake tin with the help of butter paper and grease your cake tin with the help of butter. I am cutting few strips of butter paper and keep them inside the cake tin. According to cake tin size, cut butter paper and make a strip of butter paper. Now cut a round shape from the butter paper for the bottom of cake tin. You can see how easily I cut a perfect round shape. Now keep our round shape inside the cake tin and cut a perfect round according to our cake tin size. Now I made exact size of round shape. Now grease cake tin with butter. Butter helps to butter paper to stick pan. After greasing with the butter, now keep your butter paper and stick it to the bottom and side nicely. Butter and butter paper prevents cake from sticking to the bottom and sides of the pan with butter. If you don't have butter paper at home, you can use plain flour to dust on cake tin. I always prefer one more butter layer on the butter paper so that it always stick to cake tin. You can see I nicely covered cake tin with butter and butter paper. Cake tin is ready for baking. Now I am going to tell you one secret tip for a perfect baked cake. This tip help cake to become fluffy in the center or become dense. It also prevent cracks appear on the top of the cake. I always wrap my cake tin with wet aluminum foil strip so that my cake become more spongy and fluffy and no lines or dent comes on my upper surface of cake. To make wet aluminum strip, I took 4 kitchen paper rolls or instead of kitchen paper rolls, you can use newspaper also. I nicely folded kitchen paper roll or newspaper roll. Now cut aluminum strip according to our cake tin size. Now wet our kitchen paper roll or newspaper roll. Make it fully wet. Keep the weight kitchen paper fold on aluminum foil. Wrap kitchen paper roll with the help of aluminum foil. Always keep in mind we make a strip of your cake tin size, the sides of cake tin. Instead of aluminum foil, nowadays in the market we get weight cloth strip that we can attach to our cake tin. Now my strip is ready. Now I am going to wrap, wrap aluminum strip to sides of my cake tin wet aluminum foil strip or glow strip helps cake from becoming too fluffy in the center or dent in the center now my cake tin is perfectly ready for baking once cake tin is done keep it aside now our most important task for baking a perfect cake is set oven for for a perfectly baked cake, we need to preheat our oven. For that, I keep my oven temperature on 250 degrees Celsius and function knob on fan with the grill mode and timer for this is 10 minutes. Now oven is set for preheating for next 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we can make cake batter for our chocolate cake recipe. For making a cake batter, first we need to sieve our plain flour or maida. Saving maida or plain flour prevents cake becoming soggy and sticky. Once maida is sieved, next we need to sieve cocoa powder and baking powder at the same time. Also add a pinch of salt while sieving all the lumps from baking powder and cocoa powder breaks while sieving. Once all dry ingredients are done, keep them aside. Now we will move to our wet ingredient part. For wet ingredients, first I took butter. Always keep in mind, butter is always we need on room temperature. It not be in hard form or it not be in melted form. It's We need butter on room temperature. Take a butter in a big bowl. Now with the help of hand blender, blend butter nicely for 2 to 3 minutes. Speed of blender while blending butter is always on high mode. Once you blend 
butter for 2 to 3 minutes you can see the butter become light in color and very fluffy now my butter is ready for cake our next ingredient for cake is adding sugar in butter just gently mix butter and sugar together for mixing butter and sugar keep blender speed on one once sugar and butter mix together we need to add milk and flour mixture first mix dry ingredients nicely then we need to add 1 to 2 spoon of dry ingredients in butter mixture and then add 1 fourth cup of milk in butter mixture now with the help of blender blend nicely all the three ingredients together butter milk and flour the blender speed is always on slow speed it may be on one or two now next add another batch of flour and milk we need to keep always in mind that we need to start with the flour and end with the flour only i added in three batches whole flour mixture and milk mixture i use whole one cup of milk to make a cake batter blend slowly to make smooth cake batter now my last step is adding the last batch of maida blend nicely to make smooth batter once maida mix nicely in cake batter we need to add quickly our essence i use vanilla essence to make cake if you like coffee you can add coffee powder at this point in the cake batter once we added vanilla essence fold nicely cake batter now we are going to important step of making a spongy and fluffy cake add vinegar to the cake batter on the vinegar add baking soda immediately quickly mix baking soda and vinegar in cake batter now nice fluffy cake batter is ready once our cake batter is ready immediately pour cake batter in baking pan that's why i said always keep your baking pan ready we need to immediately add cake batter in baking tray make it plain from all sides to the cake pan now tap two to three times so that cake batter become evenly spread inside cake tin cake tin is ready for baking a perfect chocolate cake without dent or without any cracks on the surface now keep our cake tin inside preheated oven that's why i said preheat the oven firstly otherwise your cake batter is ready and we are still waiting for preheating for a baking a cake reduce oven temperature to 180 degrees celsius according to oven timer may be vary from 30 minutes to 40 minutes after 30 minutes of time open oven door and insert a toothpick or a knife inside cake always insert toothpick inside the cake at 45 degree angle if toothpick comes out clear means cake is nicely baked if not bake cake for five more minutes and again check with the help of toothpick you can see cake is nicely baked now take out aluminum strip from cake tin when cake is warm only flip the cake on one of the butter paper nice spongy and fluffy chocolate cake is ready for decoration cool down chocolate cake completely before you want to decorate it you can also make this chocolate cake with my simple tips and tricks once you bake your first chocolate cake let me know in my comment box if you have any questions related to cake or related to cooking let me ask in my comment box hope my tips and tricks helps you to bake your perfect cake also don't forget to subscribe share and like my youtube channel warm cooking see you soon for our next learning session until then bye bye thank you